Okay, here we are. We're in central London. We are at the Lambeth area near the Imperial War Museum. And behind us, right there, is a UK broadband antenna, which Peter is going to tell you a little bit more about. So UK Broadband acquired a huge chunk of spectrum in LTE band 42 and 43, which is approximately 3500 to the top of about 3600 megahertz uh, frequency wise. And they used six 20 megahertz LTE carriers across these bands to operate a fixed wireless broadband solution for consumers and businesses in the London and other areas. This was marketed under the name Relish, which is now 3 Broadband after 3 took them over. So, this isn't the only area where Relish um, had some sites. They deployed quite a few sites in central London, as well as areas such as Reading and Swindon, and there should be some photos on the website of those. The Spectrum will be very useful for 3 going forward and their 5G deployment, of which we'll talk about on their rebuilt UK Broadband sites, so their rebuilt versions of these up next. Now we're at Chalk Farm in Camden and we're at a rebuilt UK broadband site which is fully spec'd up for three to offer their commercial 5G service on the antennas that Jake's pointing to. On each sector there is a Huawei AU5614 which is the massive MIMO for 5G. It's a newer model than what EE and Vodafone are currently using because of the higher bandwidth that three have for 5G. The other panels are Huawei ADUs, which are fed off Huawei dual band L18 and L21 remote radios. So um, on this site they've got RRUs, which are Huawei's 5501s, and um, basically on all sites which have Free's commercial 5G, which is going to be used for home broadband and um, just general 5G service, they're going to be using those RRUs. On some sites, they're going to rebuild them using Huawei Kit to use 800 and 1400, which is the SDL band 32, um, and they're going to have 44R, which is just going to be absolutely brilliant for indoor coverage. And it also increases the maximum speed capabilities as well, having four transmit on all four of their 4G carriers. We're now at Kentish Town, and the site behind us, Jake's over there, um, is much the same as far as the rebuilt UK broadband kits concerned. So the lower set of antennas which are there has the Huawei Massive MIMO and the ADU again and you can just about see the 1800 2100 remote radio under it and I'll stick a close up on the side. The much higher antennas are E and 3 standard 2G, 3G, 4G array and for E this is LTE 13377 which is what and I think 20 as well, so it's one of their really high-end sites as well. And up there you can actually see the UK broadband Huawei cabinet as well. So we're now near Jubilee Gardens and just to the side of Jake there is a three Samsung small cell. Three do actually have small cells, yes, that yeah. is indeed true. We have seen about four of them so far, so one was on the other side of the station, there was um, two more further down the road. Uh, and this is the fourth, I believe. Um, it's only got a single band free carrier on it, but the performance so far has been brilliant. So, so I'm getting about 90 meg per second here. You won't be able to see it too clearly. Yeah. Um, only 64 gram at the moment, but if they use the backhaul and one on these for 5G or 4G evolution, it could be quite exciting. So one thing I didn't mention just then is how it's backhauled. So as you can see at the very top of the lamppost there is a tiny microwave um, receiver and transmitter and that is because these are on a mesh network um, of small cells which essentially means that one of them is fed from fibre and then basically the rest of them sort of communicate with each other via those links at the top. Um, so that each one of them doesn't have to have fibre and it'll make installing them a lot easier because you don't have to dig up the road then or... Whoa, it's just me. Where did Peter go? There. Um, so... So, right, we're at, we're at Jubilee. Yeah, we are at Jubilee. Oh, not even... That, we've got to delete that. That's it. We've seen about four so far. Four? Yeah, about four. Yeah, four. four. Just had to stop filming because of mopeds. In that wonderful, absolutely wonderful, <laughs> they just started like, you can hear them sort of in the background now. 
Wonderful. It's in the wing. It's very annoying, yeah. And um, our first take was um, kind of ruined a little bit by an ambulance, but that's fine, you know, they're doing their job, they're doing great things.